Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer wraps up the four of the Pyramid beers that was sent to me by Kate uh, out there at Pyramid. Uh, I do appreciate the, the beers you sent me so I could review those guys. Uh, and Kate, uh, thanks a bunch. It, it was uh, very nice of you to do that. So, this is the last one. This is their Apricot Ale. Uh, these guys are out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, this is a 5.1 percenter, and Rate Beer has it at 11 IBUs. Not bitter, not hardly bitter at all. This should be a, a very sweet uh, ale. So, uh, commercial description says here, our fla flavorful apricot ale boldly contains the taste and aroma of fresh apricot with the smooth finish of wheat malt. Its refreshingly unfiltered character and fruit flavor make it an ale worth savoring. It says, no, previously it was called Pyramid's Audacious Apricot Ale. I guess they dropped the Audacious. Uh, malt is 50% two-row pale barley and 50% malted wheat. So a lot of wheat used in the brewing of this beer. And it says here the, the hops were nugget. So that's all we need to talk about. Let's get the top off of this thing. Nice little hiss, a little bit of smoke. Uh, here the food pairing says general salad. I'm not much on pairing beer with salad. I'll be straight up with you guys. I'm going to pour this a little aggressive. Glass water, pine becker, and I come to mug Stein Seidel. I'm using my favorite tool blast today. And it says here not recommended for standard salary. Guys, it does have a date on the bottle. But you can't read it with the beer in there. I, I fussed on the other three that I got from them. They need to change the ink color. That's just my two cents. Me, personally, if this beer was available here, I couldn't see a date on it, I would not buy it. Man, a little less than a finger of head. It does look like an unfiltered beer. It is very cloudy, guys. Nice orange, amber color. But it is pretty cloudy. It definitely looks like an unfiltered beer. Let's get a nose to it. Apricots are off the chain, guys. If you don't like apricots, you're not going to like this beer. Maybe if some hint of some peaches too in there. I mean, definitely some fleshy, fruity fruit. <sighs> apricots big time. Apricots are 12 out of 10 on this. It's overpowering everything. That's all I'm getting is apricots, maybe a hint of some peaches. Yep, yeah, let's dive in. First beer of the day. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Kate, and all the people up there at Pyramid. Tastes exactly like the aroma. Apricots and maybe a little peach. That's exactly what I'm getting. Apricots and peaches. It does have a nice citrusiness to it. But it's big time apricots. Not giving any alcohol whatsoever. Very well made. Tasty beer. You know, it's it's telling you what it is right on the label. Apricot ale. So if you're expecting something else other than that, you're going to be disappointed. Apricots and peaches is what I'm getting. Well, let's right out of the fridge. Let me pour her a glass, sip on it for a tad. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Uh... It is what it says it is, apricot, and the apricot is taking up the whole front seat. Uh, slight hint of some peaches in there, very fruity, very sweet, very easy drinking. Uh, 
some of the ladies might like this if they're sweet wine drinkers or don't like bitter beers um, or even the guys if you don't like a bitter beer and this is a very sweet fruity ale so but the apricots are off the chain I mean that's, that's where they were going with this and they they hit it so uh, I looked at the bottle when I came back it's got April the 25th of 2017 as a bottle on day like I said you cannot see that date with the beer in there it's absolutely impossible all right, final chug. Apricots, apricots, and more apricots. Slight hint of some peaches in there. Very sweet, like I said. Alcohol is super well hidden. Guys, it's a decent beer. Uh, don't think it's through the A category. I think it's a B beer, and that's where I'm going to put it. Uh, 85 is my rating, right straight down the middle of the B category. I uh, wish they would do something as far as different color ink, uh, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, over to Bear Advocate. Bear Advocate says 79. I think it's a little better than that. Over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer wasn't happy at all. You guys over there giving it a 39 overall. 59 in the scale or the style. Uh, and final check in over to Untapped. They have it at 3.5, which is right down the middle of the B range as far as I'm concerned. That's exactly where I'm putting it. Uh, so we're in agreement there. Uh, uh, piece of beer. I mean, if, if you love apricots, uh, this would be a great one to pick up. Because it has got apricot over apricot and more apricots. So uh, it is what it says it is. If you're expecting something else other than apricots, you'll be disappointed. So it's... Uh, it's, it's, they hit the nail on the head as far as this, and you say, oh my God, that's a low grade, or or it's not that good, or whatever. I respect everybody's decision. To me, I think it's a well-made beer. I think it's a beef beer. Uh, that's where I would put it. Uh, this is probably not something that I would purchase myself, even if I could read the date on it. I'm not into the fruity beers too much, but it is exactly what they say it is and what they were after. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. If you've had this one from Pyramid Brewing, is there an apricot ale? Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, come on, my heart. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.